This is a case of a hypermature cataract with a phagolytic glaucoma. You can appreciate the corneal edema and the entire anterior chamber filled with leaking proteinaceous material. The side ports are created. The anterior chamber is washed and under the air bubble, tripan blue dye is injected to stain the anterior capsule. Viscoelastics are injected into the anterior chamber. Using a bent cystitome needle, a puncture is made in the anterior capsule. You can see the milky white cortical fluid erupting out into the anterior chamber. Now, making an incision at the limbus, a 2.8 mm keratome is used to create a triplanar corneal entry into the anterior chamber. Now visco is injected to get a clearer view and to flatten the anterior capsular flap. Using the same cystitome needle, capsular rexis is initiated. Aim for a slightly smaller than the initially planned rexis. As the rexis was becoming smaller, a spiral rexis was completed to get a 5.5 mm margin. Now, in the FACO1 mode, small trenches are made in the superior part of the nucleus so that a crater-like impression is made. Burying the FACO probe into the nucleus, a terminal chop technique is done to complete the crack. The same technique is employed in the other heminucleus. The previously separated nucleus is again cracked into two halves. Phagoemulsification is now commenced and the nucleus is broken down into smaller fragments and emulsified. As you can see, a very good followability is achieved and the anterior chamber is well maintained throughout. Because of this, we can use high vacuum and very less phaco energy in these hard cataracts. Special care should be taken while phaco emulsifying the last fragment. We don't have much cortex in these hard cataracts. A single piece acrylic foldable intraocular lens is gently injected into the capsular bag and dialed into position. The viscoelastics are all washed away and the side ports and the main wound are hydrated. Post-operative day one showed diffuse corneal edema and few DM folds in the center. Topical steroids and antibiotics were started and two weeks post-op showed a clear cornea, well-centered IOL in the bag and an excellent visual recovery.